Sound Design. So in this next video on getting started with Phase Invaders, I'm, I'm going to show you how to upload your own measurements from Smart. So first we'll head over to Smart, and there you want to disable your coherence blanking and your smoothing. Why? Because if you have your coherence blanking on and your smoothing on, then it's going to export like that and it's going to look like that in the game and that's going to make everything less effective, okay? We want sharp focus, we want as much information as possible, so we want to turn all this stuff off. So here's the coherence blanking, I'll turn that all the way down and then I'll set, set this at either 148th or none for the smoothing. Two changes here are two differences. If you have the full version of Smart, this is what you'll do. Just select the two traces that you want to export, then click up here and export to ASCII. If you have Smart DI or an older version of Smart, you may need to copy these into a text file first because all it has is copy to ASCII. So I'll copy to ASCII, open up a text document, new document, paste, make this a plain text document, save, and when you save, it shouldn't say RTF here, right? Because you don't want rich text, you want a plain text document, and then, you know, save that as main, and then sub, or something like that. That's the workaround if you have Smart DI. Okay, so now I can close Smart because I've already exported those, and over here I'm on the Upload tab in Phase Invader, so I'll click on Main, here's my main trace, I'll click on sub, here's my sub. The next step is very important. You may want to rush through this because you're going to be in a hurry when you're in the field, but write as much information as you can think here. Um, in the name, I recommend that you write make and model of the main and sub, and then the location, at least like the city and the venue of where you're at, maybe the room if the venue has a lot of rooms. Uh, I'm going to just copy and paste this in so I don't waste your time. So I have a JBL VRX 932 and a 918. I was in Dallas, Texas at the Renaissance Hotel, and I did not write down the room, but I don't think they had a lot of rooms. And then in the description, you're going to want to write things about the microphone location, uh, the speaker location. In this case, I wanted to remind myself that the 932s were on stands eight feet up, and the sub was center backstage. This is a three mic average, and then I have the actual position of those microphones relative to the audience. Um, I wanted to remind myself that I had a filter here on the main speaker, and I'm ready to go. Play. Cool, and here we are. Uh, one bug currently is that sometimes the mission will load with your last zoom settings, if it even if it was from a different mission. Just double click to zoom out, and you'll be good to go. So as you can see, this is a mess, so I'll want to go through the steps that I learned in the previous videos. So I'll start by adjusting the coherence blanking to clean some of this up, and then I'll zoom into the area of interest down here. So that's how you upload your own traces into Phase Invaders. Uh, you can upload anything, really, it doesn't have to be from Smart. Uh, if you're using SatLive, RumiQ Wizard, other audio analyzers, there are workarounds to make that work, so let me know, comment on this video, or send me an email, and I'll tell you how to do that. Or I can make another video about it if you want. But that's how you do it for Smart, so let me know what questions come up, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Sound Design. Yeah.